Good morning. This is the first full week of Keto Says Baby. Well, actually, the first full week that I've been doing keto because I started last Monday. Um, so right now it's 5.30 in the morning. I got on the scale this morning at 269.0. Um, I forgot to actually take a picture because I was uh, in a rush to make my keto coffee. And I had my keto coffee um a few nuts and some water and I was like let me go take a picture um of my weight and it was 269.6 and I was like whoa so um I couldn't get a picture but um I'm very pleased with the weight loss so far I need to fine tune a bunch of things I'm eating more protein than I should I'm not eating enough fats um so this week I'm going to be very conscientious of um tightening that aspect up, increasing my mineral intake, my salt intake, uh, to help constipation. Um, I drink a lot of water anyway. I was drinking water, plenty of water before I even started the keto diet, but I need to, um, actually drink even more water now. Um, my ice maker is broken, so I gotta call my, um, appliance warranty company because it's still under warranty to get some parts shipped out for that. Uh, what else? I made my meals for the week. Um, made cabbage for the first time, which came out, eh, it was alright. It's, I can eat it. Um, last night for dinner I made some, um, Bacon cheeseburgers, <laughs> those are delicious. Um, today I'm going to be having um, crock pot cooked chicken with um, green beans. Uh, I think I'm going to have that for dinner. I'm going to try and fast today. I'm going to take the lunch and keep it in my car in case I just run into an emergency and I'm just like dying. But I feel pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have breakfast. I think the coffee is going to make me through until like around noon. Uh, I think I'm going to try and fast until, if I can't make it through lunch then I'll eat it. But if I can make it till I get home, I'll have it for a late lunch, early dinner. Yesterday was kind of a, I thought in my mind was an awful day. Um, so I decided to fast my first meal, which was breakfast. I just had my coffee, didn't have any breakfast, and I ate around 12 o'clock. And I wasn't ravished like I normally would be, but I was hungry. And I didn't even eat my entire meal. I brought a chicken breast and some collard greens and... Um, Went to work. When I got home, I was exhausted. My body was aching. I just hurt and I just felt tired. But strangely enough, the night before, I slept like a baby. So I couldn't understand why I was so tired. So yesterday I was thinking about a co-worker came in with McDonald's food. I'm passing by all these fast food restaurants. And I'm like, is it really worth it? So that was the thought that I had when I went to bed. So when I woke up, I got on the scale... I'd lost all this amount of weight overnight. And I think it's all because from fasting and from, you know, the lifestyle and whatnot. So I'm pumped. I'm excited about this. Um, and today I want to show you how I make my keto coffee. So let's get into it. Um, this is the brand of coffee that I had before I started keto. So we'll keep using it. it seems to be working for me. And honestly, this coffee, when I first started drinking it, was horrible. You know, they sip on it on camera and say, oh, it's delicious, the best thing ever, but it's absolutely disgusting. When I first started it, because my taste buds weren't used to the flavor, this is just like a Keurig um, cup. I think I got this off of Amazon or eBay. I got several of them, but... Um, you can put your coffee in there, drop that in there. And while that's going, um, I usually need to wash my little magic bullet cup up. While that's going, we'll wait and I'll pour my remaining ingredients into here. I did a lot of cooking yesterday, just a small little cut on my finger, but it's all worth it, baby. 
I've got my recipe here, but like I said, um, I'm going to be changing it just a little bit to my taste. Um, I've got my G butter, my MCT oil, my liquid stevia. I'm going to be adding just a couple of sprinkles of ground cinnamon, my uh, pink Himalayan salt, and my cacao powder. And I'm also going to be adding, which I completely forgot about, is my heavy cream, just to kind of break up that taste a little bit, because it's a, it's a strong acquired taste. coffee and pour it over the sink. Alright. We'll start with the liquids first. A teaspoon of MCT oil. This has a thing that you squeeze but I find that the, it's so pressurized that when I squeeze it it comes out so fast it splatters everywhere so I just pour it out of the, the container without the lid. So we got a teaspoon of that, um, a couple of drops of stevia to your taste. I prefer mine to be a little bit sweeter. Um, we'll add some of the pink Himalayan salt. I get a lot of my pink Himalayan salt in my water, so I don't add too, too much. And then we're going to add some cinnamon. And stir that up just a little bit. You don't need to go crazy stirring it up because your, your magic bullet's going to do all the work for you. I'm going to rinse my spoon off and dry it off. For the powder. That looks about right. I've been trying to get more fats into my diet, so I had a cup of tea with just some heavy cream in it. That's all it is right there. I'm gonna pour that in there and then we'll get the lid. Put my little top on there. It's good to invest in one of these magic bullets because trying to mix it by hand, that oil does not mix well and it makes the drink that much nastier. <laughs> oh. I think I should plug it in. That might help. There we go. All right, turn it over. That, that smells wonderful, it has a chocolatey smell to it, but obviously it's not as sweet. I'm going to rinse my coffee cup out. Liquid goodness. Let's see what it looks like, what it tastes like. That's much better with the cream. It's not sweet by any means, um, but adding that cream cuts down that um, that bitter coffee taste. Um, I've always been a coffee drinker, and my favorite cream that I used to use was the hazelnut cream. Uh, put my hazelnut cream in there. I, was, I wouldn't add any sugar because the cream was sweet enough, but 
this adding the cream makes it taste tolerable. <laughs> so, let's do the dimple check real quick. Nope. That one's still there. Mmm! I saw a little bit. I saw a trace dimple, so it's coming. The dimple check-in. Until next time.